Marion Pugh is an allegory, I think, for everything that is not so great about the system, the political system. Uh, he is a lawyer by trade, and he has gotten into bed with some uh, with some not so nice people. These same people he has rescued in the, the legal process, so they have backed his career in the political arena, and so he kind of he owes them, and so it's a it's a, a tenuous relationship at best. One of his constituents is Barry Valentine, who they they have a kind of uh, strained partnership. Marion was his lawyer, and so uh, he represented him in some of his colleagues in different cases. So he got very intimate in terms of the uh, Barry's in, uh, workings and some of the things that he was involved in. Not and not all of them, shall we say, completely legal. Um, as well as Vita Randall, who is Barry's uh, enforcer, main enforcer. It makes for some strange bedfellows. So, but there is a kind of an uneasy alliance between them. He, in his mind, thinks that he is where he is by his own merit. And though he may be qualified, he is where he, he was where he was because it benefited other people around him. He's really ineffective. He's a lot of sound and fury signifying nothing. I am the mayor. Greensboro's my city. <laughs> what? <laughs> Your city? He just doesn't inspire a lot of confidence. And because he doesn't, the people don't rally behind him like he wishes they would. That frustrates him because in order for his words to have some weight, he has to get some he has to get some strength behind him. And he reluctantly goes to Barry Valentine for this for this muscle so that something can be so when he speaks, people will take him seriously. So what would you have me to do? So after all these years, you have to ask me that question? Just get it done. He thinks it's something wrong with the people, uh, when in fact it's him who doesn't inspire a lot of confidence and leadership, just because of the kind of person that he is. I'm Marion Pugh, and I approve this message. <laughs>